Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles, and back to the Sudoku Tude set of puzzles, where today we will be doing Buns, 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 which is a sandwich Sudoku puzzle. Um, now, I'm recording this shortly after we finished the uh, sliced Sudoku puzzle pack, so if you're interested in learning more about sandwich after doing this one, you can go to my playlist section or to the collections page um, on my free Patreon. Um, it's available even if you don't join my free Patreon, it's available to the public, the collections page, and um, check out the Sliced Sudoku Puzzle Pack, which is a pack of mini sandwich puzzles of various difficulties, from very easy all the way up to blisteringly hard. Um, but um, this puzzle is designed to introduce some interesting concepts of sandwich Sudoku, but this one is on the harder end of the etudes. Um, there is only one more puzzle in this set, which was one that my testers went oof and thought it was very, very difficult, um, but this one was on the harder end as as well. So we're getting up to puzzles that normally take around the 20 minutes to solve at the moment. So let's have a look at buns, buns, buns. Again, let me know if you know the reference. Um, so, uh, okay, let's get into, of course, there'll be a link below to where you can solve this puzzle for yourself. Let's get into the rules. We have normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then we've got sandwich. So the numbers outside the grid give the sum of the digits between the one and the nine in that row or column. So in this row, or in this row between the one and the nine, there will be digits summing to 15. In this column between the one and the nine, there will be digits summing to 15. Um, we don't have any information about this column or this row. We just know where there is a 15. Um, the digits between the 1 and the 9 sum to 15. They're the rules of the puzzle. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Now, one of the things that I freak I do when I am solving a sandwich puzzle is I will mark the ones and the nines in a particular color. I tend to use yellow. And then I will mark the digits that cannot possibly be one or nine, the bread or the crust, whichever you prefer to call it, with a different color. I use, as I said, I use green. So let's look at row two to start with. This cannot be a one or a nine. If this was a nine, then the digits between the one and the nine would sum to zero. Doesn't work. This can't be a nine for the same reason. This can't be a nine. Well, let's just mark all these ones, which aren't one or nine as green. So these are green. But the minimum you can do 15 in is actually two digits um, because with a seven, eight. But with this being a three, in order for this to be a nine, this would have to be a 12 to make these sum to 15. So this also must be green. But what's the maximum that you could do 15 in? Well, there's a couple of different ways of thinking about this. And the way we often think about it is what's on the side of the plate outside the sandwich? Because if you think about an entire row of a Sudoku, an entire row of a Sudoku contains the digits 1 to 9, and they sum to 45. Now, the bread of the sandwich are the digits 1 and 9 summing to 10. So the possible ingredients of the sandwich are digits summing to 35, the digits 2 through 8. So we've got 35 to play with, but we know 15 worth of those ingredients are inside the sandwich. So 35 minus 15 is 20 worth of ingredients must be outside the sandwich. So if this was a nine, that digit, which is the would be the only ingredient outside the sandwich, would need to be a 20, and that doesn't work. So this can't be a nine. Now, if this was the nine, those two, and that would need to sum to 20. So those would need to sum to 13, which might be possible. Actually, I think it's not. Actually, I think it's not, because how would we make those sum to 13? We, yeah, those can't sum to 13. So this is actually um, important. So we know the nine is in one of those two. I'm marking across boxes just for now, because I'm going to get rid of it in a moment. So if this is a nine, these digits would need to sum to 20. So these would need to sum to 13. I couldn't use nine, three, because the nine is one of the bread. Um, I couldn't use 7, 6 because a 7 is in the row. So these would need to be 8, 5, but I can't put a 5 in either of them. So that can't be the 9. That's the 9. That becomes yellow. That becomes green. But I can keep doing some coloring. Well, I know these have to sum to 12. Maybe I do that first. So how do I do 12? I can't do 9, 3. I could do 8, 4. I can't do 7, 5. I can't do 6, 6. So these do have to be 4 and 8, and the 8 makes that the 4 and that the 8. So, but let's do some more coloring. 
This can't be a nine because you can't put in a column with 15, you can't put the nine next to the one. And the minimum you could do 15 in is two, but only if you do it with seven, eight, and I can't do seven, eight here. So the minimum is three. This can't be a nine because then this digit would have to be a 20. So that's not nine and nine is in one of those two, but I'm going to keep coloring elsewhere. We know those can't be nine for the same reason. This one possibly could be seven, eight, but this can't be a one, sorry, a one, because then this would have to be a 20. Now one can't, this digit sees a one and a nine. So that's green and one is in one of those two. If this was a one, those two digits there, these would all have to sum to 20, and those two digits would have to sum to 18, which is not possible. The maximum of 7 and 8, which is 15. So this has to be the 1, which means that's yellow, this is green, and this must be 7, 8 to get to 15, the two highest digits of filling we've got, which means that's the 7 and that's the 8. This is actually working better than I thought. Um, it's possible that with the deduction in row two, I with these fives, I saw something that I didn't see when I was initially testing. And it's possible none of my testers saw it either, because I can immediately see that's a five, because I can't, where do I put five in the row? And these are two and six. This is working well. So let's look at this column. I can't put um, a one in any of those. I can't put a one in any of those because there's ones looking at them. If I put a one here, this would need to be a 20. So that doesn't work. So this has to be the one. This is green. And these two digits are 20 minus seven. Those have to sum to 13. Well, they're not nine, four. They could be eight, five. They can't be seven, six. So those are eight, five. The five makes that the eight and that the five. This is working surprisingly weirdly. One is in one of those two by Sudoku. This sees these two digits see one and nine. So those are all green. Nine, not sure. One is down here, but these are all green. This has to be green because I can't do, if this was one, then this would have to be a 13. That doesn't work. This can't be a one because then this would have to be a 20. This can't be a one because it sees a one or a nine. This is a one, which makes it yellow by Sudoku, which means this isn't a one. This is a one that's yellow, that's green. These now have to sum to 13 to get me to the required amount. I can't use nine, four, I can't use eight, five. They have to be seven, six. And the seven here makes this six and this seven. The 15 in this column now can be done. Those must be green for the same logic as I've done with the minimum that you could do it in is, um, is in two. Nine must be in one of those two. Okay, I've got this 15 sum, which means this can't be a nine and neither can that one. So nine is in one of those two because I need to put a nine in this row somewhere. I can't put it here and I can't put it too close to the one, which means because nine must be here and one is here, these become green. Okay, one is not in any of those. So this is the one by Sudoku. Okay, nine is in one of those two by Sudoku. These can't be one or nine, those are green. In this row, right, this can't be a nine. If this was a nine, these two would have to sum to 15 and be eight, seven, but that seven means it can't be. So this becomes, sorry, green is my four color. This is the nine, which makes that yellow. And this can't be the nine. The nine is in one of those two now, but if this is the nine, those two digits would have to sum to 20 and that would be a 15. So that's not a nine, that's a nine, which makes that yellow. This is green, these are all green. These now become all green because they see one and nine. That makes this the nine by Sudoku, which means these are all green. Whoops, green is my four color. One of those two is a nine. Okay, right, this is a nine because it's the only place in the column that I can put it. And I need four digits that sum to 15. This is, actually, I probably could have spotted this way earlier. What four digits sum to 15? Well, the minimum digits I can work with are two, three, four, and five. Two, three, four, and five sum to 14 because two, three, four is nine plus five is 14. I need to increase one of those digits by one. 
So what digit can I increase by one? If I increase the two by one, I end up with two threes. If I increase the three by one, I end up with two fours. If I increase the four by one, I end up with two fives. I have to increase the five by one. This is two, three, four, six. There's no four there, but that means I know what these are. One, two, three, four, five, and seven. And the five here makes that the seven and that the five. This is another four sum, which we know just proved is two, three, four, six. And I could have got that one by Sudoku. I also could have thought of it by thinking about the outies. There's no six here. So we've got, so which ones have we done? I like to mark off which clues are done. This 15 is done. This 15 is not, but I'll get to it in a minute. This 15 is not. This one is. This one is. That one's not, but it's about to be. This one is. This one is. Because let's look at this one first. That's a two-digit sum. That's a 7, 8. The 7 makes that the 8 and that the 7. And now this 15 sum is done. Okay. Uh, I wanted to look at this 15 sum. If that was a 9, those would need to sum to 20. It doesn't work. That's the 9. This is not not the nine. So that's green, that's yellow. That looks up saying that's not the nine. So that becomes green, that becomes yellow nine. So these now need to sum to eight because I've already got seven. I can't use one seven. I could use two six. I could use three five. Uh, this can't be the two, so this can't be the six. Now this 15, these need to sum to seven because I've already got the eight. These could work in tandem. These sum to seven, there's not one six. They could be two five, they could be three four. If this is three four, what do I need here? Down here, I need to eight. It's either two six or three five. So I need to use a two or a five down here. So this can't be two, five. This is three, four. So I can't use three, five down here um, to make the eight. This can't be three, five. This is two. This is six. That's kind of weird. Um, one, two, three, four. This is the five. The three is looking down, making that the four and that the three. There's no three, four in either of those. So that's a two, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a seven. Eight is in one of those two. Oh, where's eight in this box? It's there. And this is two, three, four, six. But these 15 sums are now done. I think that's all of the 15 sums done. So now we're down to Sudoku, but I've done a lot with those 15 sums. Haven't resolved, oh yes I have, that's the one, which is yellow, this is green, but the nine here says that's not the nine, that's the nine, I can make that yellow, and now I can get rid of the green. The green has done its job because I've got all the ones and the nines and the green is just there to say, where can't I put one or nines, which the answer now is everywhere. Okay, so now we've got some Sudoku to do. This is a seven by Sudoku. I find once you remove colors, it becomes a lot easier to see stuff. So we've got four sevens, or seven and seven means this is seven. I mean, I still will miss stuff, but this can't be six either. So that's a, oh no, six is in one of those two. What digit is in here apart from two, three, four, six? I need to put an eight in here, and that eight is saying not there. So this is an eight. Eight. And these aren't two because of that two. So this is a three, four pair. Eight here is putting eight in one of those two, but that eight is looking across saying not there. That's the eight. These are two, three, four. And there's no two there. So two is in one of those two, which puts two in one of those two by Sudoku. Not sure. Seven eight nine seven eight nine seven eight nine seven eight nine seven. I've done all the seven eight nines. So which is the restricted digit? Three is in one of those two.
which is the restricted digit? Interesting. Two is in one of those two. These are all two, three, four, six. There's two, three, four, sixes everywhere. What apart from two, three, four, six has not been placed? In, there's no five yet in this row. It's in one of those two. This column is only missing three digits. Three, four, five. So this is three or four. This is four or four. Ah, this is four because it sees three and five. So that looks down making this three, which makes this five. So these are four and six. And the four is looking down, making that the six and that the four. So these, one, two, and five. And the five makes that the two and that the five. This is the digit not placed in the box, which is the six, taking six out of there. This in the row is three and six, which means this is the two, this is the six. The six is looking up, making that the three and that the six. And that's the four that hasn't been placed in the box. The three and the four look down, making that the two. This is a three, four. And the four looks across, making that the three and that the four. That takes three out of those. So that's the four, taking four out of there. The four looks across, making that the three, taking three out of there. But the three looks up, making that the two, which makes that the six and that the four. The six looks across, making that the two and that the six. This box doesn't have its three. This box doesn't have its two. This box doesn't have its three. This row doesn't have its six. This row doesn't have its two or its four, and the four looks down, making that the two and that the four. These are three and five, and the three looks down, making that the five and that the three, and that is how you solve buns, buns, buns. Everybody wins. Um, yeah, fun. I actually quite enjoyed this one. I like playing with 15 sums. I like their middling nature. Um, they allow you to play with both in the ingredients inside the sandwich as well as the ingredients on the side of the sandwich quite nicely. Um, and yeah, I, 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 I'd done a lot with Sandwich Sudoku recently, so I've, I felt quite comfortable playing with this one. Um, and I think it turned into a nice little puzzle. If this had been included in Sliced Sudoku, I think it would have been a nice inclusion. But it got here instead, because the pack had been well and truly completed when I made this puzzle. I hope you're enjoying the series. I'm really interested in, in looking, I'm really looking forward to hearing what people think of these as um, examples and lessons in the constraints. I really am. I'm hoping people do comment on that. Thank you everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.